Hi guys, a few videos ago or so, I mentioned that I would be happy to show you kind of my work setup for my planner and work supplies, so that's what I'm gonna do. I do wanna mention that there is just one little notebook missing from this group. Um, I'm currently transferring some helpful hints that I have from my old A5 um, Elystrum dot grid uh, bullet journal that I used last year into a just smaller uh, grid, a six size one, and I haven't finished that, so it's not uh, with my two other items here, but you wouldn't be all that interested in it anyway. It's just helpful hints for work. You know, those tasks that you don't really do very often, you have to kind of go back and refresh your memory on what the procedure is, that kind of thing, so that's what's in there. Um, so currently, on a day-to-day -day basis, these are the two things that I take with me every day to and from work. Uh, this is my regular sized traveler style notebook. Uh, it was created by Teddy Confetti for me. Um, I absolutely adore Teddy. I love her spirit and I love the notebook that she created for me. I think she's fantastic and her products are fantastic. And if you haven't checked her out, I am gonna leave a link down below to her Etsy shop. She's been making these for a while now and she does a really great job on um, the fabric styled Traveler's Notebooks, um, so definitely check her out. This little carrying case is the one that I picked up in Seattle. If you remember last year in March, I went to Seattle with a girlfriend um, to, among other things, see my kiddo and go to Comic-Con. And while I was there, I picked this up and I absolutely love it. I've used it ever since for work. Um, and my girlfriend has a green one. It's kind of a limey green. She's a green girl don't understand that. I'm totally not a green girl, um, but she loves it as well. And while I can't right now remember the name of these, I do know that Jet Pens now sells these in, I believe it's four colors, the black, the green, and I think a red and a dark blue. So I will link that below for you as well in case you decide you want to try this particular pen case. I will show you it again and tell you what I have inside in just a minute. Um, I'm just going to kind of quickly go over what's in my um, planner for work. Like I said, this is uh, created by um, Teddy Confetti. And if you're not familiar with her work, I'll just give you a little bit of a close up. She does a fabulous job. Um, I saw this, I think at her Etsy shop and I'm a polka dot girl. I love polka dots. Um, I loved it. And I just simply asked her if she would um, change the inside fabric to a pink. I don't even remember what color it was to be honest with you, but I asked her if she would be so kind as to do that and she did, uh, which I thank her for greatly because you guys know I love pink. So I'm just going to kind of show you um, a little bit about the notebook itself and then the inserts that I have. Okay, so first off I have one of my new favorite pens that I use at work every day. Um, this is the black one. It's a Sarasa Grand. I got it at the Tokyo Pen, Com uh, pen Shop and uh, there should be a video either a little bit before or a little bit after this one showing the haul that I got this one in. Now what I do, this comes with black ink in it and I take it out and I use the um, vintage Sarasa colors in these pens. I have this in a pink and a uh, this one in black. So in this particular pen, I have the dark blue ink, which I love. It's smooth, smooth ink. In the other one, I have the um, blue gray, which is my favorite. I actually have it with my Hobonichi, um, and I'm using it there. So I literally use these pens on a daily basis. I can't recommend them enough. Um, I will put a link down below to them as well at the Tokyo Pen Shop because it is because of the owner, who I think is Kimberly, that I actually even tried them, and I love them. So enough rambling about my pen. Um, as you guys know, I don't usually like pockets in my notebooks, so this does not have one. Um, it does start right off the bat with a dashboard. I've had this forever. I don't remember where I got it. I apologize. Uh, but you guys know you can find tons of people that make dashboards if you don't make them yourself on Etsy. Um, and I wear glasses, so this one appealed to me. Um, these little pen clips are from the Target dollar shop, I believe. And then over here, um, I have some note pages uh, clipped here. I'm actually covering up something, sorry, that's for work. Um, and I do have a little sample of that dark blue ink so you can see it. Hopefully you can see how nice it is. And then I have my first insert. Uh, I'm not gonna actually show you the inserts filled 
out just because I have a lot of work information so sorry I can't do that but I just did very basic decorations just some um, Project Life type cards this one says show up and shine which I think is a good motto for work and then I have a couple of as you can see right up here my favorite little clips from Peach Palm, I believe is what it is on Etsy. I will put a link for those down below too, in case you have not checked her out. I have a ton of her clips. They're my absolute favorite. This first um, insert is basically just a month. That's all it is. It's undated. I go through and I date it every few months, typically like for a quarter, and um, put events and things like that, meetings that I have. That's all this one really is. And then I have the back side of that dashboard. Um, I have some sticky notes in here that I use for meetings from time to time. Um, I have some other notes over here that I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move. I forgot we're clipped right there. Sorry. I thought I had looked at all of this, but I missed something. Um, so on the other side of the dashboard, what I now have are some blank grid index cards. I also use these for a particular kind of meeting and then I keep them here until I put them in my computer. So that was what was there. Um, then I have a next insert. This one says seize the day. And in this insert I have, let's see, gonna have to unclip. I have my week. Now this is a work week. Um, by the way, these two inserts are by Gro uh, Growing Up Goddess and I actually asked her if instead of a seven day week, she would create a five day week for me um, because that's what I need for work. So this is actually where I do the bullet journaling. I date each one of these at the start of a week and then I put all the different little things that I know I need to get done. Sometimes I know certain things need to be done on a Monday or a Thursday or whatever and then other things I just add throughout the week. Over here, I will put different notes. Um, if I go to a meeting with my manager, I might put notes here or whatever, but this side is typically for notes, and that's how I use um, my weeks. I have not needed more than this space, and believe me, I fill it up and sometimes fill it more over here with tasks that I need to do, but it's worked out really well, and the quality of her inserts are fantastic. I love them. Um, I highly recommend Growing Up Goddess, and I will also put a link down below to her. Okay, so the next insert I haven't used a whole heck of a lot yet. Uh, this one says, there's a method to the madness. This is Shakespeare. And this is just a plain grid notebook. And basically, this is there for um, planning events or um, notes that I need to take that are going to be um, things that I don't want in my weekly insert. They're maybe ongoing or something like that. Um, but I haven't used it a whole heck of a lot yet, but it is in here. Uh, and I don't remember where I got this one, to be honest with you. It's cream colored. Um, it's not anybody that I remember off the top of my head, so I apologize. I don't know. Uh, then I have this really cute little pocket or wallet insert. Um, and, oh my gosh, I had the name um, Keely Reichman, I believe, is the name of the person who makes these. And I cannot think of the name of her shop right now. Odd Girl something, I think. I will put a link down below so you can check her out. I have several of her inserts. I love them. She's one of my favorite. Um, this one just was really cute. Um, just double checking. Okay, so I don't have anything that uh, I need to move, but it starts with over here, I have a zipper pocket. Um, in the zipper pocket, what do I have? I have um, some cute stickies. I think I picked up at uh, Michael's. I have a little rodeo, rodeo book, grid book that I was going to use for something. Um, I have some washi tape. And I have some calendar stickers. So I have all of that in here. Then over here in these pockets, I have my trusty Hobonichi stencil, which I probably have five or six of. Love that thing. I have some page flags. And I have a few little grid uh, notes. And I have that little Hobonichi double stick tape uh, in case I have something I want to put down. And then I have um, things in here. These are meeting notes and things that I need to put into a different book. And then I found these um, at 
Barnes & Noble not too long ago. I'm going to use those for work, so they're stuck back in here as well. And that's it for that one. And then this last one uh, is also an insert from Growing Up Goddess. It is, let's see, I'm going to have to unclip it as well. It is a kind of a to-do list. So what I put on here are items that don't have to be done that uh, at a particular on a particular time um, or a particular date, I guess I should say, but they have to be done. So when I have when I have a light week, which I don't typically have, but when I have a light week at work, I try and grab one or two of these um, items, put them in there, and then I just cross them off the list. Um, so that is what I have in here. This is the back side of the uh, Traveler's Notebook. I do want to mention that Teddy puts a little heart on each one of hers, which I think is adorable. And then I have a black elastic pen loop. I believe these normally come with white, um, and I asked for black. Um, I thought it fit the fabric better than a white one, so went with that. So, sorry I couldn't show you as many details as some of you guys might want to see, but um, that's just kind of the basic rundown of what I keep in here. I keep a monthly, a weekly, a notes, and a to-do list um, in here, along with the kind of wallet insert. Um, and it fits it all really well. This um, notebook has just two bands inside, so, you know, I have a... I have one of these that holds a couple together, so I could put four inserts in here, okay? Um, alrighty. Aside from this pen and the supplies in the wallet, this is the other thing that I have with me at work. I don't use these things every day, but these are the things that I like to have. Now, um, in case you can't tell, this is kind of a very rubbery feeling uh, pen pouch, and the bottom serves a purpose. So if you want to have this at your desk and you press down on it, the bottom, let's see if I can show you, folds down inside, okay? And then it sits, could sit flat. And then if your pens are, you know, long enough um, when you're done, you just kind of open it up at the bottom, they're back in there, and you can close it, okay? So, let me show you. Um, I have several of my new favorite, um, kind of like fine point pen. It's like a, it's, similar to like a Le Pen or, um, you know, any of them that, a Micron, which I also have. Um, it's the Liquid Stylist. And I have it in a blue, a light blue, a red, a black, and a violet. Love them. Um, also from Jet Pens. You can see them on a previous haul video, I think. I also keep several Microns with me because I do love Microns. Um, and I typically keep, for work, um, really small ones. These are zero, uh, one. So I have a very, let's see if I can show that to you. Very fine tip. You can get more in those, uh, grid notebooks that way. I keep a blue, uh, Copic multiliner with me, although this is probably going to start staying home because I haven't really been using it. Um, I also keep a ruler. You guys know I love rulers, so I always have one with me. Um, this is just a pretty ballpoint pen that I picked up from Target. I stuck it here in case I wanted to use it. I haven't, so it's going to probably start staying home. And then these two things I use for highlighting. This is a Stabilo um, Bright Pink Fine Liner. You guys are probably all familiar with them. I have that. This is what I was using um, until I got this little handy dandy thing. It's just a pencil. Um, but it's awesome for highlighting because it doesn't really bleed through the paper because it's a pencil and it's a, it's a nice bright pink. Um, let's see here. So you can underline something or whatever. Um, so I love it. It's my new favorite highlighter. Um, I've kind of stopped using the marker ones for the most part. And then it comes with its own little sharpener. So I put all of this in here. Um, and this stays in my work bag or goes with me back and forth to work. I could probably fit one or two, maybe three more pens in here. Um, but that is it. So that is what I use for work. Those are my work supplies. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I'll try and put as many links as I can down below for the um, pen case, the uh, fabric traveler style notebook by Teddy, the pen, the wallet, the inserts, the uh, paper clips. I'll put all those links down below. So check those out. Give those um, shops some love. And let me know if you have any questions. Comments are welcome, of course. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day where you're at. Bye, everybody.